Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to show you the brand new luxury soft cover books by Milk. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure to check the notifications bell to never miss a new video. I'm sure most of you have seen the gorgeous new luxury um, soft cover books by Milk. They were launched just a week ago on the 17th of March and I was quick to get one myself to add it to my collection and of course to be able to show it to you and let you know what's new about it and how it compares to the rest of the range. If you want to see more Milk reviews, I've done quite a few in the past, dedicated Milk reviews as well, and also I featured them in many top 10, top 5 videos, links are going to be in the description below. Before I even show you the book, I have a code for you. Use the code LUX25 to get 25% off your order when you order your first luxury soft cover book. If you know the Milk photo book range, you know that they are not cheap photo books, but you get a one-of-a-kind handmade photo book for your money. Since almost all of their photo books belong to the mid to high end range, I think introducing something that's affordable yet elegant is going to make many customers very happy. Milk managed to take something very average and turn it into something very pretty while at the same time keeping the price very affordable and in harmony with the rest of the range. Now let's see what's so beautiful about these books. I'm going to get into my close-up shots now and show you every little detail about them. And I'm also going to tell you how it compares to the rest of the range in quality, options available and price. The Lux soft cover photo book, as the name says, has a soft cover, but not the usual kind. After many years of brainstorming, they came up with a beautiful matte textured French fold soft cover. So is the cover what makes this book really stand out from all the other soft cover books? My book, as you can see, is very thin and small, but still it feels very elegant and it feels like I'm holding something truly special in my hand. Now let's have a look at this cover close up. So as you can see, the front is a matte textured stock and the back is the same. However, this cover is actually 1.5 times longer than the book itself and this flap, which is called the French fold, is fully printed on the inside and you can have an image, a full bleed image on the inside and it closes in nicely. For the front cover you've got quite a few templates to choose from with multiple photos and different layouts of the text, but for the inside it has to be one full bleed image. Now this continues on the back as well. So as you can see, the back cover again is a beautiful photo, but when you open the flap, you've got again a full bleed image. And this is what really makes this book different. It adds dimension to this cover because it almost looks like there is some 3D going on there. The Shine Free cover also has a water varnish, which gives protection against damage. And since the book is quite thin, of course, we have no spine text. The inside of the book hasn't changed so much. It's almost completely identical to the standard range photo books. Now let's have a look at the sizes first. This book is available in three sizes and orientations. You've got the landscape, which is 8.6 by 6.4 inches. So that's the size compared to my hands. You've got the same in a portrait orientation and you've also got a square, an eight by eight inch square. Now all of these sizes are, I would say, small medium, which is understandable, you don't really do extra large soft cover books. However, while the similarly priced classic milk books only come in a landscape format, this one is a landscape portrait and square, which is much better if you have uh, like Instagram style square photos or you want a portrait book. The binding of these books is identical to the standard photo book range. They are perfect bound, which means that these pages are printed as double-sided sheets and they are glued together at the spine. Now you can see there's a small crease here which makes the cover open up nicely and flat, but then as you start paging the book, 
you can see that it doesn't open fully flat because it's perfect bound but there is not an awful lot getting lost in the middle. Let's have a look at the paper options as well. So instead of the satin semi-gloss combo offered in the standard range, here you can choose from satin and matte white. I'm very happy that they gave these two options. I know the matte is probably the best accompaniment to the cover, but in my honest, humble opinion, I think the subtle sheen of the satin paper is kinder to colors and depth, so it has a slightly better dynamic range. The paper I chose here is the satin, which is very smooth and has a very, very subtle shine. As you can see, I have a very bright light here, but still you get almost no glare at all, but it's still very smooth. And the matte paper obviously has no shine at all and it's a little bit more textured. It's less smooth than the silk. So you've got these two options to choose from. You need to have a minimum of 24 pages to create one of these books and you can go up to a maximum of 200 pages. Let's address the print quality as well. So these books are printed on the same printers as the standard range, which is a digital press printer and it's a four color printer. The colors look really well balanced and very neutral. Uh, it didn't look very yellowy or too cold nothing is oversaturated so i was very happy with the colors but the print is not going to be as detailed as an inkjet print or a silver halide print this digital print is made up of tiny dots which you can barely see but that's how it works and let's say a few words about the editing as well you have to use milk's online editor i found it very user friendly with lots of layouts and tools to use now i made this book very simple i'm going to go through it in a minute but as you can see already all of my photos are full page photos and it almost looks like an old school kind of photo album the reason why I did that is because I wanted to create something simple, minimalist looking, but I still wanted to see my photos quite big. And since the book is quite small, uh, making the photos bigger or full page gives me a good size. However, if you go into the editor, you have so many more layouts with lots of photos, circular shapes, text elements, so you can be very creative with these soft cover books but I just chose to be more minimalistic in this instance. Needless to say, whichever template or layout you choose on the Mix website is always going to be minimalist, clean and elegant because that's what the company radiates from the website. So whatever you choose, you can't go wrong with it and it's never going to look messy. Now let me go through this book from beginning to end. I made this book because uh, in the first week of January we had uh, a big snowstorm in Glasgow and I know for many of you that's not a big thing but um, here we don't get snow too often so it was an amazing morning to wake up to and take photos. So I created this small book from those snowy pictures and it's winter 2021. That was the only snow by the way, we haven't had any more snow. This was in the park and here we go, some photos from the window of our new penthouse. And that's the view from the living room. And it was just so pretty to look out and see everything white because as you know, in Scotland, many buildings tend to be gray and the sky is always gray. So it was a very nice change from that kind of color scheme and everything was kind of just blue skies and snow. And I took photos at different times of the day to see the sunset, sunrise and during the day uh, to capture the different colors of the same scene. So uh, to me, these pictures are a very nice memory of one very nice day from the winter. And this is what I think the book is an amazing option for a selection for. So after all of that, why should you get these soft cover luxury books? Although the books cost substantially more than the competitors soft cover books, I think the price is really justified. Most soft cover books look all the same. They have a glossy uh, cover and there's nothing really special on the outside or inside. They are usually the cheapest ones in the range of any photo book maker or provider. This book is almost a hybrid between a soft cover and a hard cover because of this beautifully uh, created French fold cover, which has image on the inside and the outside as well, and the paper choice 
for both the inside and the outside of the book. It looks like a hardcover book, but it's actually a softcover book. It's very light, but yet it can go up to 200 pages. This book fits almost any occasion, especially smaller events like a day on the beach, uh, the first snow of the year, a Christmas album, a Christmas dinner, a birthday or anything like that. The only thing I wouldn't really use these for is a main wedding album. And the reason for that is because I think Milk has much better options for that in their range. However, if you have a wedding and you create a very expensive main album for yourself, but you want to give away your photos to your guests and family members, then this book is perfect for that. It's very affordable, starts at £27 and also it is light and still has the same elegant kind of wedding look because of the matte paper and the beautiful minimalist layouts inside. All in all, Milk didn't disappoint. This is a very creative addition to a very saturated section of the market. There are so many softcover books, it's very difficult to stand out, but this one definitely stands out, both in look and in quality. Make sure to check these books out and give it a try if you're interested in them. If you have any more questions about these books, you can leave them in the comments section. I try to answer them. Thank you very much for watching and as always, subscribe for more.